what we've got here is the, the cotton mouth or water moccasin, one of the most feared species of snakes in this area, who's really not that scary at all, is quite placid to tell you the truth. There are actually three species of cotton mouth, and luckily for me, I'm in a state where all three species coexist together. Look at this beauty. Yes, cotton mouth. Acistrodon piscivorus. We're in the swamp here. We found this little beauty. And you can see that dark color. You definitely got to be careful where you're standing, where you put your feet. He's a semi-aquatic snake. He loves these marshes. He loves hanging out in the wet stuff and hunting frogs. He'll also hunt mammals. That's why he has this, the heat sensing pits on the face there. Great camouflage, as you can see, a nice dark color. And the late afternoon and early mornings, they'll hunt out in the open and in the hotter parts of the days, they'll move into the water or the shaded areas. The cottonmouth, which has a fierce reputation of being a snake that'll attack you and come towards you, is simply not true. This guy is very mellow and he's done nothing but try and get away from me since I found it. It didn't even gape, it hasn't showed any sign of aggression at all. But it is one of the venomous six in the lower 48. There are 46 species of snakes found in Georgia and with so many species, how do we tell the difference between what's venomous and what's not? Now there's a, there's a species, of, a couple of species of water snake which look like this and unfortunately are killed all the time because people lack the knowledge of distinguishing the difference between a venomous snake and a non-venomous snake. So a couple of quick pointers are, he has the elliptical pupil or vertical pupil and he also has a heat sensing pit on the side of the face. You can't always go by the triangle shaped head because other water snakes will have triangle shaped heads also. And three of the six venomous snakes in this state actually have rattles. The timber rattlesnake, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, the pygmy rattlesnake. So that's a very easy way to tell whether it's venomous or not. Okay, while I got this guy here, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a closer look. His other name, of course, is the cottonmouth. And we're gonna have a little bit of a look inside of his mouth now and see exactly why that is. When he's in a grumpy mood, he'll coil up and he'll display that white mouth there. I'm um, being very gentle with this snake at the moment, so he hasn't even got his mouth open, he's quite mellow. But what I'd like to do is give you a quick look at his fangs, if he'll allow me, without making him too grumpy. There we go, there's that mouth, there's those fangs. You can see that there. That's definitely where he gets his name from. That's the ever watchful eye, snake in the grass there. People say that they're aggressive and they'll come towards you, but you can clearly see here that the snake is just moving away. Flicking the tongue around, trying to work out exactly what I am. He's got semi-killed scales as well, and that helps him hunt aquatic creatures with those semi-killed scales there, the killed scales he can hang on to slippery creatures like frogs and salamanders and fish which he really loves to eat. <laughs> kind of reaching out towards the camera there. You can see the underside of this snake as well, has a beautiful pattern, checkered pattern. And he's from the same family as the copperhead. Agkistrodon family, the copperhead, and the water moccasin, also called cottonmouth. 